The president insists he is not making light of the burglary at Congressman Elijah Cummings' home, which is still under investigation tonight. Mr. Trump made Baltimore a punchline at a rally last night, and today one of his supporters showed up at Cummings' house. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live in the neighborhood with the controversy. Mike? Denise and Vic, Congressman Cummings has not wanted to engage the president. In a statement, he thanked police for responding here and says he's doing okay after yelling at the intruder who fled on a bicycle. Congressman Elijah Cummings told WJZ he scared away an intruder who broke into his home in Druid Heights early last Saturday morning. The police report says his security system alerted him to the burglar who fled. President Trump sounded off on the burglary on Twitter, writing, Really bad news, the Baltimore house of Elijah Cummings was robbed. Too bad. That was really not meant as a wise guy. I mean, his house was robbed, and it came over the news at a certain moment last night. The president's former U.N. ambassador, Nikki Haley, responded to him with, This is so unnecessary. And the House Majority Leader, Maryland Congressman Steny Hoyer, tweeted he is deeply concerned by the burglary and concerned by the president's continued racist and dangerous rhetoric, which he wrote could lead to someone getting hurt. Those people are living in hell in Baltimore. For the past week, the president has lashed out at Congressman Cummings and Baltimore. His tirades began after Kimberly Clasick, who's on the Baltimore County Republican Central Committee, showed videos of trash in the city while appearing on Fox News. There's abandoned row homes filled with trash, um, homeless addicts, uh, empty needles. Clasick showed up at Cummings' door Friday. No one answered. She had her camera ready to take more videos of West Baltimore. The president has already shared her images to his 62 million followers. He just had this, you know, spat with Congressman Cummings talking about the border. And so it's like, of course he's going to use this to his advantage. I have no regrets, none. Because I think if it didn't blow up this way, um, no one would be doing anything about it. And as for the burglary here, it happened a few hours before the president's initial tweets. And according to the congressman, the intruder did not get inside the residential portion of the home. Live in West Baltimore, Mike Algren, WJZ.